thanks for joining us. I'm Jeanette Roche. This is Alberta Weekly. Alberta RCMP say that police will remain at the Cahoots border crossing to ensure the safety for those who travel through it. For more than two weeks, the Cahoots port of entry into the United States was blocked by protesters, including truckers and farmers wanting to see an end to COVID-19 mandates. As Angela Stewart explains, the blockade not only affected those who live in the village of Cahoots, but also had a big impact on our country economically. <laughs> It's one of Alberta's busiest border crossings, and for 18 days, truckers, farmers, and supporters parked their vehicles and camped out, ultimately impeding access to and from the Coots border crossing. We're hoping to achieve the end of all mandates for all Canadians, especially Albertans. Big rigs, farm equipment, and other vehicles stretched for miles down Highway 4, filling the streets of the village of Coots, this causing some issues for the residents who live in the village. Obviously, it affected the village as far as uh, 